I was married to Betty for 43 years. We were on holiday in Boston. She said she wasn't feeling very well and eventually it was diagnosed as a tumour in the pancreas. The prognosis wasn't very good. It was six months, you know, perhaps. Betty was determined that she was going to make the most of the time that she had left and that's what she did. Betty eventually was getting a lot of pain. Her condition really deteriorated, something dreadful. We'd never been in this situation before. We weren't sure the right way to handle things. And Tony was the man that was giving us all the answers. He'd only just started being a Macmillan nurse and he came in to look after Betty. The relationship and the care that he built up with Betty was just second to none. And without him, it would have been a struggle. You would say things and ask things that I never thought about saying and asking. You know, and, and I was Betty's husband, and you, and you think, well, why did I not think about that? I, I'm not scared to admit it. She was the driving force in here. And now, if I'm going to be doing something, then I sit down and think about, what would Betty have done? During the last week, um, her mother and her sisters were coming around here every day. And so she had her, the whole family around about her. There you are, my darling. Fresh flowers. So, love you, sweetheart. It's all right having your family around about you, but having somebody from outside who's maybe got a, a wealth of experience in dealing with circumstances that you're in, can maybe look at it from a different angle and say different things that the family would say. I think it takes a special kind of person to be able to do what the Macmillan crowd do. And uh, I'm not one of them special people, I don't think. It's a privilege to work for Macmillan, to touch the lives of people when they are in a, a difficult stage of their life. I think it's very humbling. You, you stick by each other through thick and thin, and um, that's exactly what we did. <laughs>